In our office, I prefer bandless mass speed. We use a slow protocol and we always connect only to the palate. I prefer not to connect to the teeth because when we go and we start expanding our patients, I'd like to put the pressure only on the palate. So we're gonna get 100% bone level expansion. If you connect to the teeth, there's gonna be pressure on the teeth and the tendency is for the teeth to tip and you're gonna get some amount of flexure of the bone. The other thing that I prefer to do is I prefer to do the orthodontics with spark aligners simultaneously with the palatal expansion. And the reason why I like to do that is because as the expansion is pushing out, that gets the mouth bigger and then there's opportunity without the bands on the teeth to actually do the orthodontics and move the teeth around. Clearly, we're gaining some efficiencies here. The other thing is sometimes we have forces going in different directions. And certainly if the expander is making the mouth bigger and we're needing to like move the teeth around, some of the pressures that the aligners are gonna be putting on the teeth to kind of pull them back around and in are gonna be retractive. And if we're doing the orthodontics, that might be pulling some teeth one way and the skeletal expander is developing the mouth the other way we're gonna be able to balance these forces. If you go and you do a situation where you do your expansion first, and then you come back in and do the orthodontics second, I've heard a lot of people talking about losing some tongue space, even with a long enough retention period, some of the bone that's developed down the middle of the palate might be a little soft, and you might lose a little bit of that nasal breathing improvement you got. These are things that we really like to try to avoid.